um, after some discussion with Leila, uh, we came up with this idea of having sessions for students, basically informative sessions where um, academics and people in the field, you know, more senior people in the field, can give their advice and give some guidance to students, not just students, but also early career scholars. And the, these sessions will cover a range of topics from finding a job to publishing to conferences to what it means to be a student and a early career scholar in Iranian studies. So that was the, the main concept because AIS in a way has a wonderful opportunity to actually do these things. We have access to scholars, they have access to students and they have the resources to do it. So we came up with this idea and together with um, the, uh, the AIS president, Professor Nagme Sorabi, she also, funny enough, came up with a similar idea at the same time. So we had these two concurrent um, uh, ideas and concepts and we just put them together. So we're, thankfully, with the, back, with the blessing of the council, we're going to go ahead with these sessions um, at the moment. Uh, and they are called the presidential sessions because I think this is something that we'd like to have as a regular event in the AIS um, calendar beyond our time as council members. So um, we're hoping very much to start this year and we're going to look first at most probably what publishing is like in academia. And then uh, later in the year, we'll have another session. We're going to time these sessions to the academic calendar. So having a, a session about jobs, for example, around the time when people would be starting their applications. So the idea is to run concurrently with the experience of students and early career scholars. Uh, I think they're wonderful and I think they're going to be extremely popular and helpful for student members. When Marina and I got together, we realized uh, as graduate students, we kind of owe the student body to um, give something back. Yes, we're trying to represent them, but we want to give something back and, and let them know that AIS is also for them. It's not just us, um, us as in like the organization, uh, kind of trying to get your, your membership money, but we also want to provide more service aside from the conference to you. Uh, we want to make sure that you understand that we are we care for care for you. We are here, and uh, we understand some of the the hurdles and the obstacles that you face, and we want to help you out into navigating this crazy academic life. So by providing some services, some sessions to um, brainstorm with you and and uh, get some advanced scholars to talk about. Uh, what it is to get published, what it is to get a job in uh, Iranian studies or Middle Eastern studies, area studies, whatever you're thinking about. Through those, um, we want to make sure that student body especially understands that um, we're here for them and we want to support them in any way we can. Mm -hmm.